of all the things to do is to stop me this close to my and you want to blind a fine girl like if i go blind will you marry who will marry me hey god i very good Welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time or this is the first time you've seen this beautiful face well hello my name is amaka and i'm a legos based content creator and youtuber please don't make it your last subscribe give this video a thumbs up and if you're a returning subscriber i love you thank you for always stopping by story time and this story is not even it's not even funny at all so like last two weekends my flatmate said she wanted to celebrate her birthday so we went somewhere in lecky lecky face one i'm not going to be mentioning names of places so that people will not say hey, you are spoiling business for us wait like i'm not still working okay. but just then so my guys so we me and my flatmates we drove to this place in lecky <clears throat> went we had food you know we had drinks uh, like around 10 we said we were done and wanted to go home okay sharp so we called an uber so like the uber guy was already calling that oh i'm outside the place can you guys come outside okay sharp we're coming so like one of us wanted to go to somewhere else like another club so he was going to like go with his car then we will use the uber to go home outside now and the uber driver is outside so we were like about to enter the car when like this guy like this guy i don't know where this guy came from just drove like if you see the reckless driving he almost jammed like one of my flatmates so like the the guy that we were with not like had to go close to his window not like like He's supposed to like wind down and say, Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that that was that was rough. Sorry about that. But instead, like instead of this nigga to like just apologize and move on, just removed his seatbelt, came down and was like, What are you guys saying? Like he started he started making a fuss about nothing. And then the guy my the guy that we were with got angry like really angry i was like what are you saying be apologizing before i know it they start exchanging words and this nigga now they were exchanging punches you know five don't bust hey <laughs> for lucky like this five bust <laughs> oh my it was bad so they started fighting and then all of us were watching like why are you why are you fighting him you're the one who is wrong plus he was carrying like three girls at, the, at his back seat or whatever and these three girls they were not even helping matter their mouths were just running pur, 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 pur. well say sorry how can you tell someone sorry when you did not wind down you cannot be you cannot have your glass all wind up and be saying sorry it's impossible if you want to say sorry you wind down and say i'm sorry we can't hear you sis for you know it though now so plenty the fight was too much they were fighting they were separating them like the guy that we came with and this driver so the uber driver was calling like you guys should just leave this guy let's go home let's go so at this point everybody was like agitated we were all like separating the fight pushing the guy away like stop beating stop fighting by this time the belts were flinging up and down we pulled <laughs> they were beating shoe between removing things i'm like okay <laughs> i better go inside because right now i can't no more so i'm inside the uber and i'm calling my flatmates like let's go it's not worth it let's just go the uber driver is here let's go so like i'm there i'm i'm in the i'm in the back like the back of the car i wind down the glass i'm calling my flatmates like you guys should come inside let's go let's go this whole thing is getting all heated up my sister my brother the next thing i saw was this the guy like the guy the guy that is at fault obviously because he's at fault this nigga just rushed the uber like i don't know, maybe he saw me there or something just rushed the next thing i know bro this guy this guy stabbed me with his key in my eye if you look properly you see this 
and this like it has cleared now it was bad like the moment he stabbed me i thought okay maybe it was just maybe he punched me because it felt like punching like if he's if not punch nobody did they start to punch me let's still go home realized blood was drip like i was fucking bleeding bro hey like my i was, do you see the picture like i was bleeding bleeding badly when the guy we came with saw the blood he was like i and i, and I had to like come outside from the camp like i know you guys are fighting but you know what's my own why are you why are you stabbing me with a key why do you have to go this far you want to spoil this beauty why why are you against me why are you i just couldn't comprehend why this nigga of all the things to do is to stab me this close to my and you want to blind a fine girl like if i go blind will you marry who will marry me hey god i better go this nigga stabbed me like so close to my eye what are you thinking What's my own body waiting to say? Hey, wow, wow. Um, before you know it, I'm outside. I'm, I'm angry. I'm like, why are you stabbing me in the fucking eye? Why did you do that? Hey, because like everybody was not like, ah, bro, this one is too far. Like, it was at that point, they had to call the police. So the police came and took all of us to the police station. I'm still not going to mention the name of the police station, but maybe I should just mention... I don't know. Sorry, I'm not going to mention it. So the police came, took all of us to the police station, and said the guy and the the guy that we came with, they're going to sleep over. That we we can go home, but that's after like writing statements and this and that. So let's call our friend who's a lawyer. He came through spoke with the police guys on duty. We we're like, oh sure, cool, sharp sure. that there's nothing they can do this night but that uh, the rest of us can go home like the girls can go home but the guys they have to sleep okay so like around this thing was happening like around around 12 1 like by 12 1 it started raining we we're still at the police station we we're there till okay say around three we all finally decided to go home and you know the guy should sleep will come back in the morning so they asked us to come back by 10 in the morning to sign statement and whatever whatever to meet the dpo so we came back home and i took my bath and i slept and then when i woke up i was like super sore it was now swelling up you feel me you know how it is now it was now swelling up and my face was beginning to like <sighs> <sighs> It was so painful. It was not when I now looked at it. It was not like, oh, what is so close to my eye? Wait till I do this guy. Who be this? We go just look me finish him once. But wait till be my own. Like, what's my own? Hello? What's my own? <laughs> so, like, finally, um, we went back to the police station around 10. So, like, our lawyer friend just said, don't even worry yourself. Just send me that picture because I took pictures of my face and everything. So send me those pictures. So I sent it to him. So like he presented it to, to the police officers. They're like this guy, you shouldn't have done this. Like this was too too far. He was like that that his bracelet that he bought in one point two million naira and that we scattered the bracelet. What bracelets? My eye, bracelets. <laughs> my eye, bracelets. My my precious eye. Like, so man will not see me to marry me. Bracelets. They are talking about bracelets. We are talking my eye. Eye that we used to see man in Lagos. I we used to see money. I we used to see how I will jack You want to collect it against bracelets. Is it me that spoil the bracelets? You see me there when they spoil your bracelets. Hey, this one can say bracelet 1.2 million naira. That's why he punched me in the eye. Was he me? Was he? Relate. Was he me? Hey, 
bro i said okay if we are doing that one now i will just go to ever care and collect medical reports you will pay Although you will you will keep paying until the day I'm satisfied, like and I will know how to manipulate the medical results. I will keep manipulating them until the day I feel like your money, your money, like I'm okay with the way you are paying. I cannot overlook you. Don't don't play with me, me. Don't play with me. <laughs> so after much, they say we should give them space. Plus that's. Man, not even came back with those girls. Their mouth was even sharper than Rezo. So I'm like, okay, bless on I won't sleep for here today now. So when when the guys now took their time, spoke with the police officers, you know, guys, now life is easier with guys. Trust me. Like, if it was if it was just us, like the ladies, now we for don't reach courts. I, I know we go down they court they 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 settle this matter because I don't go gray. I don't go gray. With the way that with that woman mouth they shut I don't go gray. I don't go gray. And I she should not go gray too. These niggas they went inside, they spoke, they talked, they even shook hands. Like it's over. Let's forget about it. Let's put everything behind. So the guy came to me, I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the pain that I might have cost you sorry for this sorry for that i'm like okay what do you want me to say like really what do you want me to say lagos is so crazy what do you want me to make i talk make i say oh no 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 make i can't they prolong case i beg our lawyer friend said leave it shit pay the eye is not is not is not requiring medical attention at the moment but I shan't need ice packs and all that, so I got those ones. And then he said, Just don't worry about it, you'll be fine, just let it slide. I'm like, Okay, no problem. So that's it. Everybody went home and said he was going to keep in touch, like colors and all that. So we left the police station around like three because they said we had to wait for the DPO to come. To sign the whatever and close the case and this and that so that's it like that's how somebody just wanted to just spoil my finesse in this legos was my own like he's crazy like most times when i go out in the night i'm like i'm always scared because anything can happen you can even be in the club like they'll start shooting i don't understand Police can just bust. They are looking for G boys or one thing or the other. Before you know, you just find yourself in police station. Something you not even plan for. Ah, Lagos is crazy, yo. Nigga, when he was now like apologizing, was saying that that he, in his defense he was drunk and was coming from house party. When you know you are coming from house party, you are still going to another party, all drunk with the girls in your in your car. That all of you together, you people have drink. You people want to look for you will ruin their life. You pay, you know you are drunk. As you are drunk, shouldn't you be coming down? Shouldn't you be relaxed? Like, try to calm down. You open your car to come and start fighting people that you don't even know. <laughs> well, all thanks to God, everything went well. We left the police station and I came back to nurse my wound. I'm the one that so far pass. Me, that I know if it, I... I'm sleeping, my eye is paining me. For two days, I was carrying, for two days, ice pack, every, I carry ice pack, oh, huh. Before you even know it, I think like, I used to have like, ear problem before. No, like, not before, like, earlier three months ago, I used to have like, some ear issues. But like, I had resolved it. But the trauma from that day, I think maybe the guy also hit my ear or something. In the process of the whole thing, I think, um, I had to like go back revisit the ear, the ENT doctor again, and it's not five naira. It's not five naira. I should have just called those police people and tell them to tell the guys to come and be sponsoring me for all my medical visits because it wasn't funny. I came back now. I'm the one who is suffering, taking care of wounds that I not I not give myself. Now sin. But well, we still thank Sky Daddy for this beauty and for maintaining it and for you know giving us. Nobody can kill us. Don't let anybody kill you in this life. That's why I used to tell people. Don't let anybody kill you. Because if this guy had done anything, brought out a gun, shot us, or someone shot somebody, 
he will beg God for forgiveness. You know what? God is going to forgive him. <laughs> he is going to beg God and God is going to forgive him. And you, that they killed you unprepared, you're going to go to hell. <laughs> imagine if you are unprepared. Okay, let's say, imagine if you were unprepared. You're going to go to hell. Straight up. <laughs> Who lose? You. No, let anybody kill you. Especially Lagos. Don't let anybody kill you. I do hope that you understand why I've not been up and about on YouTube. I've just been trying to not my wound. And not a lot of people know about it because I've been trying to like keep it hush hush. Some people not say, What did you do? What did you do? Why did they break your head? Why did they break your eye? <laughs> I didn't want to, I don't want any of that to happen. So I said to keep it like hush hush until the day I'm ready to like talk about it. And now that I feel free talking about it, I'm telling you guys about it. So yeah thank you for all the stories you are going to tell me in advance i appreciate and i'm fine thank you so much so thank you for watching this video and i'm going to see you in my next video which is dropping like real soon real soon trust all right guys have a beautiful weekend yeah it's friday have a beautiful weekend all right bye